Hello everyone, so I welcome you again in this video and in this video we are going to learn how to install a virtual machine in Microsoft Azure and more specifically we are going to create an Ubuntu virtual machine and on the top of it we are going to install Apache server onto this machine. So let's start. Okay, so this is my uh, console screen of Microsoft Azure. This is a workspace where we are going to do all our kind of practical. So in our demonstration we are going to provision okay so we'll start creating our virtual machine so we'll go to the virtual machines we'll go for virtual machines and then we create virtual virtual machine and here we will be in the same group this is our virtual machine 3 and this is our ubuntu machine which is also acting as an application server okay reason is same and we keep the security as a standard and here we take the ubuntu image so this ubuntu image will give this configuration which is the default configuration here so we keep all the things as it is and uh, for connection okay let us give some let's say azure user you can give any password here and then uh, to connect our this Linux machine or Ubuntu machine we are connecting with to the SSH. To window machine we use RDB. So here I am also allowing the connection using this HTTP. So I am just permitting two protocols here SSH and HTTP for the connection. So click and create. So let's see. Uh, is passes the validation or not if it is not so uh, if it is not then we have to go and cross check what is missing so in our case so we are done with creating machines now we will uh, try to connect to our this machine which is uh, ubuntu machine so we'll go here and then uh, this is public address of this uh, ubuntu machine okay so you can just copy this and then we will connect using ssh so we'll uh, just go to the command prompt and then you will write here ssh and then you will write um, the user so the username is and then you write at the rate and then write the public ip It will ask the password, so give the password which you set. Okay, so we are done. We are able to connect to our Ubuntu machine. You can see this written here Ubuntu app server, which is the name of a machine. So you can just write here clear so we can get a new screen. Okay, now if you look here, if you uh, we already have given uh, the inbound rule is http we have uh, set ssh and http that means we are allowed to access the machine using a browser through http so if we uh, use this ip and if, if we want to connect to a machine so it will not show you anything because this machine is nothing to show at this point of time okay so what we will do we will install a server onto it and uh, that has a default page so whenever you want to connect using http it will show you the default page so let us first go to our uh, uh, this uh, one to machine here so you can see here this is our machine that we have connected so let us install here apache server 3 so we write here first we will just uh, configure it properly we will update this machine so we will write sudo apt get update okay. 
okay so we are done with this and then we install apache server onto it so we'll write here sudo apt get install Oh, we have written the wrong command. Let me correct it. It should be sudo. Okay, so I believe this is okay. Okay, so we are done with this uh, installation. Now, if you look to it, this is the public IP of this Ubuntu machine. This is the same. So, if I go here and if I refresh, we expect to get the this uh, index page that we have just installed. Okay, uh, I think we are done with this exercise and you have understood. So, this is all for this video. Thank you very much.